Okay. Okay. We're going the wrong way. way. Turn it, Billy. Turn it, turn it. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week, we're on the water here at Franklin's Park in the paddle boats. So come and join us here, okay? We got a lot of things to talk about, all about the park and a lot of other things. So uh, grab that pen and paper so you can jot that info down. If you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. Well, we are staying on the paddle boats here um, in the pond at Franklin's Park. Uh, just a beautiful day, a little overcast today, but it's just beautiful weather right now to come out for a paddle boat ride at the park. There. The paddle boats and the miniature golf courses are now open here at Franklin's Park every Saturday and Sunday. So you can come out and enjoy paddle boating or fishing on this nine acre lake. And there are tons of other things to do out here at this 200 acres here at Franklin's Park. There are tons of picnic shelters, several playgrounds, plus horseshoes, volleyball, tennis courts, a miniature golf course, walking fitness and nature trails a softball complex and a soccer complex. Now Franklin's Park offers special programs, classes, and events throughout the year. So for details on all the happenings going on at Franklin's Park, just log on to cabarrascounty.us slash parks. Now if you'd like to experience the artistic endeavors of some of the most talented local artists, uh, then you've got to check out the Senior Games um, Art Showcase, and that's the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord. Now, this competition features entries into visual, heritage, literary arts, and it's artists from the ages of 55 and older. Now, the works are displayed from now until May the 13th at the Cabarrus County Senior Center at, five, at 331 Corbin Avenue, and that's in Concord. For more information, just call the Senior Center at 704 920-3484 or just visit cabarruscounty.us slash aging. Now, there's going to be some great entertainment out at Mount oh, Pleasant yeah. High School on um, this Thursday, April 29th when um, the Senior Games Silver Arts Follies and the Cheerleaders Showcase takes place. And this is part of the Senior Games competition um, where the senior adults are competing with each other um, right. in these um, performances. Um, their performances, these performers were also um, possibly go on to the state finals right. and then also possibly to the national competition. So while it's going to be a great show full right. of great entertainment, um, it's also a competitive environment. So it always makes a it a fun. lot of fun. Um, the tickets cost $4 for adults and $2 for children ages 12 and under. So just come out and enjoy this great entertainment. Cheer on your favorite performers on Thursday, April 29th at 6.30 p.m. at the Mount Pleasant High School Auditorium. For more information, just call Cabarrus County Senior Center at 704 920-3484 or visit CabarrusCounty.us slash aging. Now, if your child is really into dinosaurs, mm -hmm. got a great program for them, uh, you don't want to miss this one. Dinosaur Day will take uh, children ages 4 to 7 on an educational adventure to learn all about dinosaur facts. You have stories, and you make a dinosaur craft. Cool. And maybe it's a little miniature dinosaur or something, or <laughs> Jurassic Park or something. Now, this program will be held on Thursday, May 13th, from 4 to 5 p.m. in the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. The event is free. The registration is required. Registration for Dinosaur Day is limited, so sign up today. For more information, just call the library at 704-920-1180. Well, early voting is ending this Saturday, May the 1st. You can cast your ballot in either the Democrat or Republican primary by stopping by Cabarrus County Board of Elections office. That's at 53 Corbin Avenue in downtown Concord. Just stop by any time from 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. through Friday, April the 30th. And then early voting also will be available on Saturday, May the 1st from 8.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. For more information about early voting, to check your own voter registration status or to view a sample ballot, just log on to CabarrusCounty.us slash elections. Now, you know, it's uh, you know spring of the year here and it's time for a little house cleaning mm -hmm. going on. But uh, the cleaning products you may use may cause, you know, it could be a little more harm than good. So Live It Up Cabarrus is offering a free workshop with tips for green cleaning. And that's what works, and, uh, and it's not just the hype here. Plus, the impact of certain pesticides, cosmetics, and plastics to your health. So sign up for this workshop. It's your health. Demystify the do's and don'ts of cleaning products, plastics, and a lot more. Now, this workshop will be held on Thursday, May the 13th, 6.30 until 9.30 p.m. 
the Cabarrus County Governmental Center in Concord. Now, the workshop is free and open to Cabarrus County residents who are 16 years old and older. To register for these workshops or to others, just go to the Live It Up Cabarrus series. Visit cabarruscounty.us slash liveitup.learninglabs.html. Now, there's one little tip that I really liked was instead of using, you know, like a Drano type of, mm -hmm. of cleaner, that you just take a plunger. Like if your sink was, mm -hmm. you know, or your shower drain right. did that. And I mean, there was times I had trouble with my shower. Totally cleared it up. Huh? I was amazed. Well, um, right out here, Franklin's Park this summer, great summer camp experience. Um, if you're looking for um, something for your kids to do over the summer break, um, those kids ages 6 to 12 year old are um, welcome to come out here for the Cabarrus County Discovery Day Camp at Franklin's Park. Now, this is a traditional all day long day camp. It's um, held from 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. Um, each uh, weekday all through the summer. Um, through August the 13th right here at Franklin's Park. Each of the eight weeks will be theme based with many different activities ranging from educational sessions, arts and crafts, trips, games, sports, movies, and much more. Now registration fees vary depending on um, how early you register and the method of payment you choose. Um, ranges anywhere from $85 a week to $110 a week. And you can register your child for one week or several weeks or for the whole summer. To um, register, you can go to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve, reserve partner, type the word discovery in the class search box. And for more information, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Or you can call Ben Sharp at Franklin's Park at 704-920-2702. Now, Cabarrus County's largest farmer's market is now open every Saturday for the spring and the fall growing seasons. Now, the Piedmont Farmer's Market, that's located at 518 Weinkoff School Road in Concord. It's now open every Saturday from 8 a.m. until noon. And the farmer's market is going to be even bigger this year because they're going to not only be in the covered area, but they're also outside that. Mm. Possibly as many as like 60 vendors wow. might be there, so it would be great. Now, come on out for this fresh foods, the local artisans, home-baked handcraft items. we got eggs, we got meat, we got butter, cheese, all produced locally. Plus, you can meet people. They can grow your food mm -hmm. and kind of learn all about what they do. Now, on Saturday, May the 1st, from 10 a.m. until noon, local food artisans Bonnie Silvers will share tips and tricks to making delicious meals for your family using this fresh seasonal produce. That'll be a treat. So for information, just call North Carolina Cooperative Extension, Cabarrus County Center, 704-920-3310, or visit PiedmontFarmersMarket.com. Okay. Well, Cabarrus County is seeking community members who have an interest in healthy lifestyles and the safe production and dissemination of our local food. The newly created Cabarrus County Food Policy Council is seeking interested citizens to serve on a committee to identify and strengthen the connections between food, health, natural resource protection, economic development, and the agricultural community. The Food Council will develop strategies and make policy recommendations that will encourage the development of a robust and sustainable local food economy, as well as a healthier population here in Cabarrus County. Now, if you are interested in um, serving on this food council, looking for folks with many different backgrounds, everything from healthcare and food services to food manufacturers and distributors, waste management, research, land use, planning, groceries, um, community members, and uh, economic development, or just those that are just concerned citizens and want to get involved. Um, you can apply to serve on the Cabarrus County Food Policy Council um, by contacting the Cabarrus County Manager's Office at 704-920-2100 or log on to cabarruscounty.us slash sustainability slash food dot html. Now is a really good time to have a staycation, which is different than a vacation because mm -hmm. we're not going to vacate. We're going to stay here right here in Cabarrus County. Go to, uh, you know, go out there to Camp Spencer Park rent you a cabin mm. or a tent site. It's a great, great, great. If you've never seen that, these cabins are really cool. They're great. And I mean, it's, and it's real popular. So if yeah. you're interested, you really Look need to kind right of... over the lake there. Have oh, your I own know. private little weenie rows. So oh, yeah, that's great. Fun. I mean, they're really, really very nice mm -hmm. cabins. So now this is a great way to do this. So you can stay home. If you want to see photos of these cabins and the tent sites, all you got to do and learn more about the park is just go to cabarruscounty.us slash parks or call 704-920-3351 
to book that mini getaway. 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 <laughs> get, 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 getaway. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, um, this is. This thing is. This thing is a little tight. Is it, is it <laughs> affecting your ability to speak? <laughs> yes, I'm going to have to go on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is such a great lake for fishing. You see lots of folks out here fishing. There's some folks today that I'm uh, about been fishing this morning. Right. Um, but if you've ever um, considered maybe taking up fishing, not quite sure, uh, maybe what bait to use. How do you really cast a line? Um, how do you tie those knots? Um, how do you put the worm on the hook? <laughs> That's always a trick. <laughs> Especially when they're wiggly. Yeah, um, well, you can come out for um, really a fun little day of fishing and answering all these questions and more on Saturday, May 1st, right here at the lake at Franklin's Park. Rods, bait, and all the tackle will be provided. This program is open to all ages and it costs $5 per person. Um, to register, you can log on to cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner, type the word fishing in the class search box. Um, so uh, come out, meet the staff here at the boat house, right here at the lake at Franklin's Park on Saturday, May the 1st. Um, come out between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. For more information, you can log on to cabarrascounty.us slash parks or call 704-920-3350. Now, you know, you know, talking about Camp Spencer, we just want you to come out this Saturday on May the 1st. Join the park rangers at uh, Camp Spencer for a guided nature tour. And that's through the trails there at Camp Spencer. And there's some really nice ones out there. So come out, discover all that beauty that Mother Nature offers. The walk begins at 10 a.m. Just meet at Helms Hall. And the walk is free and open for all. So for details, just log on to cabarrascounty.us slash parks. Well, tennis lessons are starting up again here at Franklin's Park, the tennis courts here. Lessons begin Saturday, May 1st with classes for children and adults at both the beginner and intermediate levels. Cost for a four-week lesson is $40. Now, participants must provide their own tennis racket. To register online, just log on to cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner. Type the word tennis in the class search box. For more information, you can call Cabarrus County Parks at 704-920-3350 or just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Now, it's kind of appropriate that we're out here on the water mm -hmm. because there is a really cool program that's going to be offered at the Senior Center. Mm -hmm. The Cabarrus County Senior Center is offering a day trip for seniors who love the outdoors and the excitement. A little excitement in their lives. The whitewater rafting and more all-day program, and that's going to be at the U.S. National Water Whitewater Center, and that'll be held on Friday, June the 4th. Activities will include everything from walk, wall and rock climbing. Mm. That's pretty cool. Kayaking, zip lining, and rafting. So, I mean, there's all kinds of different yeah. things going on. The, coast, the cost is only $50 per person. Includes an all-day pass plus transportation from the Senior Center. To sign up for this trip to the U.S. National Whitewater Center, just contact Cabarrus County Senior Center at 704-920-3484 excuse me, 704 or just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash aging. I'm just really excited about this program. <laughs> Can you tell? Okay. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, really, I'll tell you. Well, those seeking balance, flexibility, strength, wellness, and introspection may enjoy an invigorating yoga practice in the park starting on Saturday, May 1st. The City of Kannapolis Parks and Recreation Department is teaming with Yoga Moxie Studio to offer yoga in the park. Now, these classes will be held at Veterans Park in Kannapolis Saturdays from 9 a.m. until 10 a.m. Classes are mixed level and are open to ages 11 and older. Each class costs $5 per person. Those participating are asked to bring a yoga mat or a towel. Now, registration is not required, so just bring your mat, come on out to the park, and uh, enjoy a beautiful morning of yoga with all your friends and neighbors. Um, again, that's Saturday, May 1st from 9 until 10 a.m. For more information, just call Kannapolis Parks and Rec Department at 704-920-4343 or log on to ci.kannapolis.nc.us. Now, the Old Courthouse Theater is going to present The Boys Next Door, and that's going to be April the 29th through May the 9th. Now, the backdrop of this play is kind of a communal residence in a New England city where four mentally handicapped men live under the supervision of an artist, but kind of increasingly kind of burned out young social worker. Now, mingled with the scenes from the daily lives of these four, we're kind of reminded 
that everyone, you know, wants to love and laugh, you know, for this brief time that we're on this earth. Now, show times are 8 and on Thursday, 8 p.m., Friday and Saturdays, and 2.30 p.m. on Sundays. Ticket costs are $15 for adults, $12 for senior citizens, and $10 for children. For more information, just call 704-788-2405 or visit oldcourthousetheater.org. There's a great opportunity for all these Civil War buffs out there, or the local history buffs. Um, there is um, a special program that's going to be offered at the Concord Branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Tim Uton, the uh, author of the Battle of Wise Fork, North Carolina's Neglected Civil War Engagement, will discuss this little-known battle of our state's heritage and the Cabarrus County unit which fought here. Now, this was the second largest battle in North Carolina, but again, um, very little known. So the program will be held in the second floor auditorium of the library from 2 until 3.30 p.m. on Saturday, May the 8th, and a book signing will follow. Admission is free. For details, just call the library at 74 920 or log on to cabarrusguy.us slash library. Now, all four branches of the Cabarrus County Public Library now have Wi-Fi access for those who would like to use a laptop computer while visiting the library. Now, you have to have a library card in order to access this filtered network. The entry screen will ask you to type in your username, all of the numbers below the barcode of your library card, and your password. Now, the last four digits of the phone number in your library record. By signing in, you will be agreed to you know, abide by the library's Wi-Fi rules. Cabarrus County operates libraries in Concord, Kannapolis, Harrisburg, and Mount Pleasant. For more information, just visit your local library or log on to cabarruscounty.us slash library. Great. Well, we had a lot of fun out here on the lake and tons of information um, in today's show. So if you miss anything, you can always go to our website, cabarruscounty.us. Click on the A to Z index or uh, just type in a word in the search box there on the home page and um, can find a lot of results there. But as always, if you need more information, you can send us a line at channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. Also, please do remember to sign up for our email newsletter. You can do that also on our website, cabarruscounty.us. Click the Join Our Mailing List link, which is right at the top left of every page. Um, put in your email address, and you'll start receiving all the information we talk about on Cabarrus this week. Plus, there's always some other little tidbits of information. Uh, if you enjoy it, please pass it on to your friends and neighbors and um Help, help share the wealth of knowledge there. <laughs> That's right. And also, you know, if you do have a family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, then you can just go to the website, cabarruscounty.us, and you can watch all our programs streaming on demand whenever you'd like. So you see the video box right there, and then right below those little icons are you know, either Channel 22 or YouTube, and you can click on either one of those, see all the different programs that we do, and uh, you can enjoy it whenever you want to. Okay. It's great. Now, in, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to try to back out here. Are we? Are, are we going to be able to go here? Okay. Oh and so we're slowly moving into the west. So come on out here to Franklin's Park. Join us in the paddle boats, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. How do you drive this thing? <laughs>